As requested in this video, I am going to show you the setup if you would like to connect your Monocaster E2 to your Android devices. I noticed most of the Android devices nowadays do not have a headphone port on it. So in this video, we will be using the USB-C port of your Android devices to connect to your Monocaster E2. And I'll be showing you possible adapters to use to connect them. Without further ado, let's get started. And now let me show you the things cables I will be needing in this setup. First of all, this is the Monocaster E2. This is the device I will be using for recording. So this is an Android device for reference. This is a Samsung S20 Ultra. And this iPad here will be the source of my background music. And this one here, this is a mono condenser microphone. And I will be using this uh, cord over here. So this is XLR male to female to connect this condenser mono microphone. And this two TR RS on here normally this comes when you get this monocaster e2 in this video I'll be using two of them but one is optional really because if the source of your background music has Bluetooth feature which means you can connect that to your monocaster e2 wirelessly but in this video I'm just going to be using two of them now this earphone here I will use to monitor the audio and this adapters over here are cables these are optional. If you have one of them, you should be able to do some recordings. However, it's best to watch this video so that you will find out which one of these three cords cables on here will have a better audio output or better audio quality when you do recording. And by the way, the setup should be the same when you do streaming. Okay, and now let's start the connections. First, let's connect this condenser microphone. Okay, so we'll connect one end to here and the other end of course to here okay there you go now i'm going to connect this trrs okay i will connect one end to here to the one for live output one and first i'm going to test so out of this three cables here i'm going to test this one first so this is a dongle so usb-c to 3.5 millimeter jack and I'm going to be connecting this one to here. Okay, there you go. And now let's connect this background music to here. And for that, I'm going to connect to this one TRS one end of that. I'll connect to here, aux in. And then the other end, wherever is the headphone port of your source of your background music, that's where it's gonna go. And now I'm going to connect this earphone to monitor the audio. For that, we will connect it at the bottom. You just select one from here, it should be good. Okay, let's uh, select the first one right there. Okay. okay, let's just make sure everything are plugged in properly. Okay, there you go. So again, I'm first testing this dongle over here, USB-C to 3.5 millimeter jack. This is actually a headphone. When I purchased this one, it says a headphone adapter. So we'll see if it works for recording. And what I will be doing is that I'm just gonna use the uh, the built-in camera of this uh, Samsung device. And there you go, now that I'm all set, as you notice, I already turned on this Monocaster E2. And uh, please remember, we connected a condenser microphone, so we have to turn on this 48 volt phantom power. Okay, there you go. I'm gonna start recording now from here. In this setup right now, whatever you're doing, you're recording or streaming, please always remember your output volume knob here has to be on high. Otherwise, uh, if it's low, then your recorded audio over there, or even if you're streaming, the audio output would be low as well. So that's why I always set this one on high almost. There you go. And now to control the volume of your background music, it could either be from the source or from here. Okay, so from here, you will notice the audio output is not as good. It's like, uh, as, as I talk, it's like up and down, up and down. But again, uh, it's, uh, it works. It's just that the audio output is not that uh, great. So maybe let me give you a short sample singing with this uh, song over here. So at least you can tell if, uh, how, how good it is. Is it possible? Is, is it a, an okay type of thing or it's no good. Okay, so let me give you a short sample recording on this uh, song over here. Okay. 
Itong awitin ito ay alay sa'yo. Sinto na duman kong mga pangako sa'yo. Ang gusto ko lamang kasama ka. Okay, let me pause this one now from here. Okay, there you go. So anyway, that should be the audio output using this type of uh, adapter. So again, USB type C to 3.5 millimeter female adapter, which is a headphone adapter. Okay, I'm going to stop now recording from here. And now let's try this other adapter on here. This is almost the same as this one here. So this one is USB type C to 3.5 millimeter female adapter, but this one supports microphone. So we'll be doing the same thing. We'll do a little bit of recording and we'll see how is the audio output or if it's better than this one or this one works as well. So we'll see. And this one here is just um, for charging, USB type C for charging. Uh, sometimes this comes with just uh, almost the same as this one. So USB type C to 3.5 millimeter jack, but again, this one, as I said, supports a microphone. Okay, so now what I'll do, I'm just gonna remove this one there and I will connect this other end to here. Okay, so almost the same process and I'll connect the other end to the bottom. Okay, there you go. Okay, let's do a short recording again from here using this kind of uh, adapter. And this time, whatever you're hearing, this is now the recorded audio from this uh, phone, Android phone over there, using this kind of adapter. So again, USB type C to 3.5 millimeter jack, but supports a microphone or supports calling. Okay, so let's do a test uh, again, a recording from this uh, same song over here. Okay, I'm just gonna add again some reverberation. Okay, there you go. I wanna make you smile whenever you're sad. Carry you around when your arthritis is bad. All I wanna do is grow old. Okay, there you go. So let me stop a recording now from here. And there you go. That is pretty much the audio output if you will be using this kind of adapter. So again, this is USB Type-C to 3.5 millimeter uh, female that supports uh, calling. So in my opinion, uh, this one is a little bit better using uh, just the headphone uh, adapter, uh, but this one has an extra noise on it. So anyway, it's up to you. If you think uh, this is kind of okay, then go for it. And uh, let's say you don't have the other kind of cables then then of course you have no choice you have to use this one which is it does work so anyway uh, that is uh, for that and this time let me show you another uh, way to connect them so this time we will use this kind of cable so this is USB type C to USB type C in this setup we actually do not need this uh, TRRS which is connected to the output or live output number one so let's remove this one Okay, instead, I'm going to connect one end to here to the one for USB-C. So this is an OTG port, so USB-C. And then the other end, I am going to connect directly to this uh, Samsung device. Okay, so there you go, we're all set. Okay, let's do a test again. Okay, and this time I'm going to start recording from here. Okay, there you go. Sound check testing one, two. This time, whatever you are hearing, this is again the recorded audio from this uh, Android device using this cable. So again, I connected it uh, to the USB-C port of this Monocaster E2 and then the other end connected directly to this uh, Samsung device. And this is now your audio output. So as you notice, this is the best uh, connection. If you have this kind of adapter, then use this one if I were you. But again, if you don't have this kind of cable and you only have this one here adapter, like a headphone adapter, that works, but it, the audio is not as good as this one right now. Or 
let's say you don't have this kind of a cable and you have this other one which is pretty much the same as this one the only difference is that this one supports uh, calling then that works as well but uh, as you heard is not as good as this one right now okay let me show you a quick recording sample again like what i did earlier okay so for that i'm going to add again some reverberation okay there you go so i'll do the same thing i will uh, maybe set them both again to one o'clock Okay, so I will start recording now from here. Patatawanin kita pag hindi ka masaya Bubuhatin mo ko pag may rayuman ako Ay sarap isipin Kasama kang tumanda Okay, there you go. So anyway, that should be your audio output if you will be using this kind of cables. So again, this is using this cable USB Type-C to USB Type-C from the OTG port of this uh, Monocaster E2 directly the other end to this uh, Samsung device. I'm going to stop my recording now from here. And there you go, that is all I can share for today. I hope this video gives you an idea that all three cables adapters that I shown you works. It's just that the other two, the audio recorded output is not as great, but it does work. As I mentioned earlier, if you do not have the other one, then the other one works. It's just that it's not as good as the other. So again, in my opinion, the best uh, connection is uh, using the USB Type-C to USB Type-C to connect to your Android device from the Monocaster E2. Thanks again guys for watching. If you like this type of video, please give it a like. And if you want more of this type of videos, consider subscribing if you haven't done yet. And hit the notification bell so you are always updated for all the upcoming videos I will be posting. Keep safe and until next time.